Another walk that you can participate in down here in Key West is the southernmost half marathon. Now, if you don't want to walk, let alone run, you can support my next guest this morning. He will be walking in this year's race, and that is to raise money for the Keys Corral. Now, what's so interesting about this is that three years ago, he had an accident that left him unable to walk. He'll share his story with us this morning. Dean, thank you for being on with me today. My pleasure, Jenna. Well, it's great having you here. And now, Dean, as I mentioned, three years ago, you had an accident that left you unable to walk. It was a freak accident, and it, what led up to it was I had been on steroids for years because of asthma. And steroids tend to weaken, you know, bones and tendons and everything else. And one night I was getting ready to get in my kayak like I had done many, many times and uh, kind of lost my balance and I started to fall to one side and I heard this popping, tearing noise and all the tendons in both knees uh, ruptured. Mm -hmm. So the quadriceps muscles, you know, retracted up. So basically I could not move my legs at all. And uh, got me to the hospital and subsequent surgeries. It was the first time the surgeon that was working on my legs had ever had both legs at the same time with that injury. So they had to reattach everything, drill through the kneecaps, all that fun stuff to reattach all the tendons and the muscles. And basically I was in braces for, for my hips to my ankles for almost three months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was unable to get out of bed for you know several weeks after that. My parents actually drove down from uh, Indiana and spent seven weeks with us and help take care of me so that my wife could continue to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was, it was a humbling experience and it made me realize that in a blink of an eye, things can happen to you that change your entire life. And I wasn't ready to just roll over mm -hmm. and say, oh, well, that's it, this is how it's gonna be. So I worked very hard at my rehab. My insurance wouldn't pay for the rehab, so I hired a guy to give me a couple of hours of his time and kind of explain to me what I needed to do and then I just I did it and I did my own rehab and uh, it's three years later and I will be walking in the uh, half marathon on October 12th. Great. What a, what a wonderful experience this is going to be for you Dean because when you be when you're able to cross that finish line the joy you're going to be able to feel from knowing that you went through something so challenging. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot different. I, I ran the New York City Marathon in 1985 and 86 but that was a hundred pounds ago. Too. That's one of the things with steroids, it puts a lot, of, a lot of weight on you. Since I've been training for this event, um, I'm down about 45 pounds now. Still have a ways to go, obviously, but uh, it has helped me regain the, um, the health that I had back then. And uh, I, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near. Uh, I mean, the excitement back then is going to be nowhere near the excitement of crossing this finish line now, mm -hmm. you know, almost 30 years later. Well, wonderful. Good for you again, Dean. I, I, I think it's wonderful you're doing this. And the money that you're raising will be supporting the Keys Corral, which is something you've been the director of now for the past six years? That's correct. I've been with the Corral over 15, and the director I was assistant director for a while, and then took over as director. And, you know, the Corral, this is, I think, our 25th year now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's pretty amazing. But uh, like all the arts groups in, in town and really all over the country, you know, finances are, are a big issue. And uh, we always want to put concerts on that are affordable to our local community here. So to keep the ticket prices down, we need to, to raise funds just like all the other groups in town. So this is one of the ways uh, that I've decided to help out the Corral. So people can sponsor me in the walk. They can sponsor, you know, per mile or a flat fee or a sponsorship or however they want to do it. And all that money will go into the, the budget for the Corral because we're trying to raise or I'm trying to raise about $10,000 through this walk. Um, not all the money is going to be used this term for the Corral. What we're trying to do is then set up and get an endowment started mm -hmm. so that over time, we don't have to depend so much on you know the community support outside of ticket sales mm -hmm. that will be a little more self-supporting. Mm -hmm. Well, great, great news to hear that money will be given to the Corral. And Dean, you guys have a concert coming up in December? December 6th will be our holiday concert this year. It's going to be held at the Key West United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. uh, the spring concert will be back at Tennessee Williams. But this concert we're doing at the church, and we're doing it in conjunction with some musicians from the high school band. Too. The main piece we're doing is the, the Gloria by John Rutter. 
and the orchestration calls for organ, brass, octet, and percussion, and chorus. So Gary Hernandez at the high school is helping put the, the brass octet together for us, and then we will be making a contribution to the high school band program from, again, from the funds that are coming in, and we'll make sure that they get some of them. Well, great. I look forward to seeing the corral back in action. And Dean, good luck to you in your walk. You Thank you. Tickets are already it. on sale for the concert, by the way, on, on Keys Ticks. All right. We'll get them quick because I yep. know they go fast. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Dean, thank you for being on this morning. My pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and joining me right here today. I hope that you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care.